This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Who needs a light stand man anyways? I'm gonna be my own light stand. I've got the Magma 24 inch Octobox here, my new one. I forgot my light stand, so I'm gonna be doing one of these. Kind of ghetto, but I'm gonna make it work. Got the new 35 millimeter F1.8 from Sony. Testing it out as well. My model for today, Adriana. Thank you for coming out. And we're gonna be doing just a little shoot, testing out 35 millimeter and uh, my new Octobox. So, let's do it. Yeah, so you're gonna be like this, where gonna be on your right hip. First time I tried it, it was all bad. <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is compose my shot first. So come a little bit closer to me. Right there, kind of entrench yourself in the right there. Yeah. So I'm gonna take a shot. And I'm gonna get frame it up right here and light it up over here. <laughs> Ready? One, two. Good. Now kind of give me a couple different looks, a couple different poses that you like. Boom. Boom. So back up just a tad. Right there. So Damn. Sorry. I'm so sorry. The disrespect. <laughs> so I got um, eye autofocus on. It's just automatically tracking her face and her eye. And all I got to do, I'm looking at her head. Make sure her head is at the top of the frame. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Give me like three different variations right now. In the same. One, two. Putting the putting the sun to the back of her their hair, and then her face is gonna be in shadow. I'm gonna just light up her face. Take a test shot. One, two, three. Take a flow. Yes. Yep. Drop your shoulder. Right there. Right there. Right there. Come on. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so now I'm shooting at ISO 50. 1,000 a second f1.8 in the 8200 for the people out there that wonder if this light can you use this in the bright sunlight you're gonna find out right now it's at full power here you go f1.8 one two three take a look give me more give me, give me more of an intense look i know you got it in you oh you want me to do my regular yeah, yeah you need some, okay. yeah yeah <laughs> You're gonna go ahead and do your thing, go ahead. One, two, three, and last one, four. Yep. You're looking, you pretend like you're a little, you're a little lost in a cornfield. There's aliens everywhere. Air, storm air 51. All right, Magmod, I love what you're doing here. This is a 24 inch Octobox, and normally I like a bigger softbox. No, 36, 38 inches is my sweet spot, but 24 is good for on location stuff. So I love the build quality of it. This just snaps into place here. Pretty beefy, pretty beefy arms. It's not gonna break. There's a lot of cheap soft boxes out there on Amazon and eBay that they're not gonna last you long. The rods are really weak and they will eventually break and bend. I've gone through so many of them. So make sure you get yourself a quality soft box. It doesn't have to be this one. But I do like the build quality of this um, Magmod uh, soft box. And then it has some levers right here. 
you just yank it it closes up it fits super like super nicely into the case that it comes with um one thing i like about these soft boxes is that it has these gels that you can just that you just snap on here so you can place color gels really easily into the magmod system it has so many other accessories like the grip so that someone can hold your light really easily it comes with you know a, a bracket it's magnetic it's super easy to put on and um you know i really like the accessories that come with it obviously you know it's pretty pricey but just know that you're getting something that's really really well built and something that's going to last you 24 inches that's my only gripe with it. I like, like I said, bigger soft boxes, but on location, it's nice to have something small like this, something small that's not gonna catch the wind and you might not get full body coverage with it. I think you probably could, depending on where you put it, but um, it works really well when you're, when you're working on location. For studio stuff, I still think that I'm gonna go with um, my bigger modifiers for studio because I don't have to worry about being portable or anything like that. But overall, happy with it. Magbot didn't pay me to say any of this. They just sent it out to me for free and I could say whatever I want about it, you know, and I do like it though. It's a, it's a nice product and I will be using it in the future because of its size and its portability. Where's my 35 millimeter lens? So I also shot with the Sony 35 millimeter lens right here. Let me cover my face up. All right. I also shot with this lens. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite lenses and I have to send it back to Sony. This is not mine. They don't give me any gear. I am really, really loving this lens. I could easily one hand shoot with it if I had to do that. I'm not gonna do that again though. But it's super light, compact. This is, if you came into mirrorless for the smaller size, you're gonna absolutely love this lens. All right, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to this channel. It's all about photography, a little bit of videography, but I do two videos every single week. So don't miss out on the next one. All right, before I go on, I'm gonna send a shout out to my sponsor for this video, Squarespace. If you're looking for a website, blog, or an online store, make sure to check out Squarespace. No one has ever made it so easy to make a website. You can change your template. You can change the look of your website with a click of a button. You can preview different templates. I love that feature. I also have an online store with them. I make a decent amount of passive income using Squarespace store and um, I absolutely love it. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, use the coupon code Manny and you will get 10% off your first purchase. I'll leave a link down below for you if you wanna just click a link, all right? Uh, thank you so much for watching. You already know the biz. See you in the next one.